Hi folks, welcome to another Skeleton How-To. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your copier to scan using Office 365 SMTP settings. The first thing we need to do is get the IP address from the copier. So from the touch screen, if you touch the settings button, then touch the status tab, there's a network status on the left. Touch that. And then scroll down until you see the IPv4 address of your copier. So jot that down, and take that to your computer and open up a web browser. Type the IP address of the copier into the address bar and hit enter and it'll bring you here to the main page. Next we want to click the system settings button, then click network settings on the newer models. This button is over here on the right and we need to log in. The default password for this is admin, A-D-M-I-N, and then click log in. Next, we want to click the Services Settings button on the left. Uh, from here, we want to enter our network's DNS. If you don't know what your DNS is, uh, click the Windows logo in the bottom left. Type CMD for Command, hit Enter, and then type ipconfig space slash all and hit Enter. And it will display your, copy, or your computer's DNS settings here. So you can copy those in. Uh, if all else fails, you can use 8.8.8.8 .8 as a public DNS server. And then if you want to put your domain name here, uh, you can do that as well, or you can leave that blank. And then click Submit. Next, we want to go to the SMTP tab. And if this is empty, what we want to change this to is smtp.office365.com. Make sure the port number is on 587. It should be on 25 out of the box. 587 is the SSL port for Office 365. Uh, we want to make sure SSL is enabled and authentication is enabled. And then we want to put a valid um, email address here. So, you know, whatever your Office 365 emails are, uh, you want to put a valid account here. Check this change password box. Put your password here. And then click the submit button. Once you've submit that you can click the execute button here and it will run a connection test if you click OK. But that's it. So once you've done that, assuming all these settings are correct, uh, you should be able to scan to your Office 365 emails and if you click address book here, I'll show you how to add one in here real quick. So uh, let's say we have someone we need to add. Scroll down, click add, the address name will be what the button on the screen says so we can say you know David for instance scroll down all the way to the bottom enter David at testing.com or whatever your email address is and click the submit button now if you're gonna send several in a row you can click submit and register next and that will bring you back to a blank form where you can go ahead and put Tom in his email here and click submit but that's it. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Please consider liking and subscribing the video so others like you can find this um, and help us out. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching.